Richard Gere is back on the big screen in a moving performance unlike any he's ever given before. He tells us about the transformative role in today's entertainment city. Richard Gere has an impressive Hollywood history as a leading man and thanks to his turn in American Gigolo as a sex symbol. You like me. But you may have noticed he's disappeared from the A-list over the last number of years. As we reported yesterday, Gear attributes his absence from big-budget Hollywood flicks to his pro-Tibetan politics, which, he says, are seen to threaten a film's success at the ever-expanding Chinese box office. But he hasn't shelved his acting career and is finding critical success in indie flicks, including his latest, which is out today, Norman, The Moderate Rise and Tragic Fall of a New York Fixer. This is good. I've thought it through. It premiered at the Toronto International Film Festival, where our TIFF correspondents Colin and Justin caught up with gear. The title of your film kind of sets Norman up for a fall before he's even out of the gate. Are we going to revel in his fall or are we going to feel sorry for him? I think you'll empathize with him. I think we've all been through to some degree what Norman goes through. Norman Oppenheimer. I have to leave. This is unacceptable. So I'll tell my partners that we had a good conversation. The character he portrays in this film is almost the opposite of everything he's done so far. Sometimes an actor gains a lot of weight or loses a lot of weight, and that's impressive. But to really be the opposite of what you're known for is, is a challenge, and, and it's, it's beautiful to see how an actor can really do that. Let's just say, get ready for a big surprise. What's your favorite movie of everything that you've done? The most fun was Chicago, for sure. He had strength and she had none. And yet we both reach for the gun. Pretty Woman is really fun. Too. My favorite. Oh. <laughs> and hitting theaters this weekend, an animated intergalactic coming of age tale about a teenage monkey. People of Banna, Zong laid waste to our planet, but together, we're taking it back. Spark, a space tale, comes courtesy of Toronto filmmaker Aaron Woodley. With Spark, I really wanted to, to go back to the basics and really tell the kind of uh, story that I saw as a kid growing up. There's obviously influences from Star Wars, Lion King, a plethora of other movies, all sort of mixed in there. But ultimately, you know, this film is really about growing up for me. And, and growing up is hard to do. It's, uh, it never really goes the way you plan it to. I have a chance so long as I have this! This is gonna be a little more difficult. And the voice cast is a doozy. We're talking Jessica Biel, Oscar winners Hilary Swank and Susan Sarandon, and Sir Patrick Stewart. Jessica Biel was the first one uh, who became interested. She really liked the character of Vix, who is this uh, battle-trained fox guardian of, of Spark. Aren't you supposed to be in bed? It is Hilary Swank's first animated film. It does a wonderful performance of the Queen of Banna. What exactly are you planning? And then just to work with Susan Sarandon and uh, Sir Patrick Stewart, who are just absolute legends, was a real uh, career high for me. I'm telling you, this is as good as it gets. Coming up next week, we're going to take you behind the scenes of Cars 3 to show you how the animated magic is made.